Morning everyone. So this week I'm going to be talking about organ donation because it's the specified week where everyone will be raising awareness to donate organs. Now organ donating is quite a big subject, very sensitive and lots of people don't know what to do with their organs. Now organ donating doesn't specifically mean that someone has to die to give an organ. You can be a living organ donor. Now obviously those who need a new heart and lungs, the person sadly does pass away. Now amongst all that grief, you could be giving someone a gift of life by just saying, yes, I donate. I have seen from my own eyes friends who have received heart transplants, lung transplants, kidney transplants, and their life has just changed for the better. It's so wonderful to see after they've been battling for so many years in hospital to stay alive and then they get this one phone call which just changes their whole life. Some people are bed bound all the time they're in hospital and then within 24 hours of having a transplant they're up, they're running around, they're walking up and down stairs and it's just wonderful to see. Now in England 2020 in the spring the law is changing, we're going to have a new service where people have to opt out of the system. Now this means people will be donating their organs when they pass away unless they aren't allowed to give organs or whether the person has said I don't want to give any organs. Now the list for organ donation is very high and we really, really want you to sign up to the register by going to the link below and just seeing if you can help us. Because those with pulmonary hypertension, they do need a transplant as a cure. It's a heart transplant with a double lung transplant. I need a double lung transplant. At the beginning of my diagnosis, I was told I needed heart and lungs, but since then surgery has moved forward and now they can fix my heart and I need the double lungs. Now we all have different blood types and donating blood as well is very important because people need that as well as getting an organ transplant. So please think about giving blood and signing up to the register. I've spoken to a few friends who are waiting for a transplant and this is what they say. As you can see, it's a very difficult time, it's a very emotional time and they're just waiting for that one call. Some have been on it a year, some have been on the list for three years or more. It's very difficult not knowing what's going to happen. And I've also been talking to people who've had a transplant and this is what they say. As you can see, it is wonderful. Their lives have been turned around because of you saying, yes, I donate. And it's a new lease of life and they are so, so happy and thankful for their families for saying yes. It is a gift of life and I really want you to think about signing up to that register, donating blood and doing what you can because there's a lot of people out there waiting for that gift and I'm sure you can make it by saying yes I donate and clicking the register button on the NHS Dorgan website. So thank you for watching and don't forget to say yes I donate. Bye! <laughs>